So it is long overdue, but I am going to get a haircut now, and I can't tell you how excited I am to do so. I know a haircut doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I'll explain. I'll explain. Hello. Colt, what up, homie? What up, brother? Just letting you know I'm around the corner. Yeah, that's good, man. Alright, cool, cool. Around the corner. Alright, bro. Alright, bye. I was watching those videos, short videos of y'all on the podcast. I was thinking, what is the best way of getting that back into here? Because <laughs> that was getting hard to watch. That was terrible. Listen to it all day, but as soon as I started seeing you on video, I was like, no, something's got to give here. Yeah, so I've been going to Colt since he was in school. How deep into school were you? Because I remember you were cutting me at your house. Yeah. It was about, we didn't start cutting on that until four until our third semester. Okay. And you've had the shop for how long? Well, we just hit our year mark. Okay. So last it's been a month, but, it's you know, been I've been at in least. here for almost, I've been in here almost three years. Yeah, so it's uh, four or five years. Yeah. So to some people, it's probably not that big of a deal. Like, you know, you're getting a haircut. Okay, cool. Everybody gets a haircut. I stopped coming two, three months ago, I think. I, I found myself with, like, I had this urge, this feeling to sort of kick these creature comforts. Um, I needed to take something in my life that was comfortable and sort of shake it up. And while it seems so minuscule, I don't know, there's something about a haircut. There's just a certain, I mean, you just feel so good after getting a haircut um, and just staying clean and, you know, whatnot. But when I stopped doing that, it, it's, uh, it was so uncomfortable. Like, it's so uncomfortable. Um, and especially, like, your physical appearance. Everybody, everybody knows, like, you want to look your best and all that. And for me, it was, a, it was a way to get out of my comfort zone. And um, it was extremely uncomfortable. I mean, I started shaving my head. And, um, you know, I, I feel like it's what I needed at the moment. And that was sort of the reason why I stopped. Now I think I'm sort of over that moment and um, got out of that comfort, comfortable spot. You know, it makes total sense. It does. And like I told you, know, I was telling her, I was like, it's, it's, it's very, I mean, it's like I, I enjoy, enjoy that. Enjoy being able to just give a little bit of a light of advice or experiences and whatnot, you know. These are not rare talks, folks. <laughs> It, you know, at first I didn't, but as time has gone on and things have happened and talks have happened with different people in here, people who I feel like would have never opened up in a way, it just makes me realize more and more that, you know, I was supposed to come into this profession more than just cut hair and send you on your way, you know? I already enjoyed building relationships, making friends and everything to that aspect but when I feel like I can provide you with more than just a haircut whether it's listening life talks experiences everything to that aspect it just puts it on a greater scale to where you know this was what I was supposed to do this is what I love to do but this is what I was supposed to do on a greater scale mm -hmm. greater picture you know give you more than just a haircut give you just give you time away from the real world in an aspect. Hmm. Well, and that definitely is, I mean, every time I sit down in this chair, that is what it is, 100%, and that's like, so if you're, if you're at home and you're wondering why the heck should I choose <laughs> Pensacola House of Barbers, why should I see Colt? I mean, this is the exact reason. Now, it does help that I've known him for so long. He was actually the captain of my wrestling team in high school, but we parted ways after high school, and then 
you know, I, we tied back up. He started cutting my hair, and then like just that relationship that we established, it wasn't just a haircut. You're dead right, and yeah. you are. You're fantastic at it. And aside from that relationship, the haircut itself is always extremely consistent. You have the memory of an elephant. <laughs> it's unreal. Bro, because, trust me. Yeah, it's unbelievable because I can sit down in the chair. And I can just pretty much be like, all right, I'm just going to do the usual. And like he knows what the usual is. And I know you got a lot of people coming in and out of here. Mm -hmm. It's almost like someone asked me that the other day, actually. It's like, how do you remember how many, like all the haircuts you do? And I was like, well, I mean, there are some that I can't remember. I, sure. I have an idea, but I can't remember. I might have to ask them now, did we go down to skin or mm -hmm. did we go right above skin? Those are where it teeters, you know. Right. But for the most part, it's almost like as soon as you sit down into the chair, it's like, it's like tunnel vision. Everything just around you goes. I'm like, okay, boom, this is the haircut. Like I'm just, I don't know, it's weird. It's hard to explain. It's just, I, I can't explain because I don't know how it happens. <laughs> now, I've told you my personal opinion, why I love them, why I will never go to another barber here in Pensacola, but actions speak louder than words. So brag on yourself, tell them about the accolades and all of it. <clears throat> I know you do. We have best of the coast and we have best of the bay. Okay. Well, so you've done the last two years, right? Last two years, got best men's stylist. Okay. And actually, Noel, which is my other barber here, he got runner up to best men's stylist last year. And then uh, last year, we got best uh, barber shop in for best of the coast. There you which go. Which was, to me, that was the best best thing out of all of it because yeah. it was recognizing all of us here and that's I mean at the end of the day that's what matters yeah I can speak all this whimsical crap but that's facts that's facts so come see the guy Pensacola House of Barbers you're on um, where are we at Olive and Davis Olive and Davis so much better Jesus all right Bro, really appreciate it. God dang. I miss you. I miss you. I miss the haircuts. I, I know, I know, seriously. How are you too? Anyway, you don't have to be perfect at this running your own business thing. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day.